Welcome back, friends. Quick mailbag today. Oh, that's some goodies arrived. This is a bit of everything today. Some outdoor stuff and some electronic stuff. First up out of the bags, these are a very nifty little itty tiny 85 board with USB plug-in regulator on board by the looks of it. So in theory, we should be able to program these direct from USB maybe? I don't know, I have to have a look. I've never used one before. I got them from eBay and I'm kind of excited to give them a go. I haven't really played with the AT Tiny 85s. This is a tiny little uh, Arduino compatible microcontroller right here and capable of doing some pretty neat stuff. I don't remember how this is going to work without um, USB to serial chip on board. It's interesting. Uh, post a comment down below. Remind me if you know how these work or if you've used one of these. But otherwise, we'll give them a go in an upcoming video. The I.O. is broken out here and handy dandy. So should be able to do some neat stuff. Next up, this looks like a software defined radio, something I haven't covered on the channel in a very long time. These are marketed as TV tuners, and there is a whole playlist on my channel devoted to using these for not at all what they were intended for. Uh, in originally for um, receiving video, but we can use these as a software-defined radio to receive any number of signals from uh, right down from the bottom end, from just above shortwave to... Uh, I think a couple gigahertz or so, most of them, I forget. Uh, standard little antenna plugs in with the varying connections on them. I like, I like this style. These seem to work pretty good. Nice positive connection, really positive, I really like that. Um, and you can also swap this antenna for any length of antenna that you want anything that threads onto this pretty standard thread but they they work pretty good uh, i keep one in all of my laptop bags because you can tune into just about everything check out the playlist on this channel but i primarily use them for listening to police fire ems that kind of thing or or just fm radio work pretty good okay we got some outdoorsy stuff this is to replace my broken compression tester. I haven't needed one in a very, very long time. And this is what you use to measure the compression in a cylinder of uh, any internal combustion engine. You thread your adapter here into your cylinder head with uh, whatever size of spark plug it takes, or this is what I really wanted, or one of these to go into like a two cycle engine. You can just hold it right into the, the spark plug hole and not even have to thread it in to get a, a quick idea of what the compression is. And then you just crank it over and read the compression. Release. That's it. Uh, these things were ridiculous expensive when I was in the trade and I paid a lot of money for mine. This one, much cheaper. Along those lines, some lines. This is actual uh, fuel line tubing. This is right from uh, eBay China. I'll post the, the link down below if it's still valid. In case you didn't already know, I don't often post the eBay listings because they go invalid and my videos are up for so many years. I get so many messages of people complaining that the links are no good. It just gets very annoying, but uh, these are seemingly okay stuff. Uh, doesn't feel really squishy as much as it should, but this is the same stuff that comes on these Chinese two-cycle engines. But this is for replacing the fuel line when it goes bad on your carbureted engines. And it goes bad quite a lot, and this stuff is like gold to buy from any dealer or local store. So now I have enough of the various sizes to get me by for a while. Chainsaw sharpening tool. Not much to it. It's actually pretty simple. It's just a couple of files, one for your cutters and one for your depth stops and vice versa on both sides, uh, depending on which side you're filing. And 
it's a, it's a still original, the real thing. So it does both in one swoop. Uh, chainsaw chain has cutters, little curved cutting teeth, and then it also has these little rakes, these depth stops that that lead up to it, and that stops the cutter from biting in too much, and you have to lower those depth stops as you sharpen your chain. And this does both in one fell swoop. And it's actually pretty price reasonable, all things considered, that you get three files in the tool. So, very cool. One interesting little tool. I got this in my local Walmart. 4 volt lithium ion cordless screwdriver and flashlight combo but 10 bucks really i i had to i had to take a chance on it i had to give it a try i still have multiple cordless screwdriver videos coming i have the that wow stick still to review but for 10 bucks like i had to give this a go charge cradle, AC adapter, driver bit, and the screwdriver. Interesting. Does it have a charge? Sure does. It's got an LED on it. Honestly, how far wrong can a person go? Actually, that feels... That's quite powerful. Holy smokes. Ways. Yeah, that was the. No, I can't. I can't stall that. That's crazy powerful and quite speedy. Ten bucks, really? That is actually marginally impressive. I'm actually tempted to go grab another one for the outdoor shop and one for the indoor. So one flashlight for that side. Flip the switch. And the other flashlight goes the other way. That's... Wow. Uh, the flashlight... Actually, that's... That actually might be handy. For setting... For... Yeah. Nah. I doubt I'll use it too much, but... Uh, why not? It's neat, but... I like this. I like this very much. It's a good feel in the hand, too. Actually, I really like that. I am gonna go pick up another one of those. Ten bucks! Holy smokes, I'm happy with that. Let's go, let's go outside, I'll give you a shop update. Quick update on the garage. Some of you know I am trying to put together my workshop that I've kind of always wanted. And just getting around to finishing off the garage in here, there's a lot of work to do. Check this out. So just yesterday the electricians were in and did all the wiring, all new wiring. Uh, new outlets for everything and the wiring to the ups, the overhead lights, wiring for the outlets. So now I can finally run my air compressor. Got did three outlets around the workbench area. Got to rebuild this workbench. That'll come in time. Got the new compressor finally set up. I was able to run it. It works finally. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to start by moving everything away from that end and just sort of pull it forward because I can't empty this place and then we'll uh, we'll get the paint on the wall so this place will brighten up a little bit and maybe we can shoot some video in here in the future but yeah it's a mess a lot of work to do but it's going to look good when it's done. Okay, there we have it. That's first coat. That's not too bad. I don't think that'll uh, that'll be too bad after all. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna do too many coats. Probably actually only gonna get the one over most of it. But uh, yeah, it's gonna bleed through from the the pine wood and stuff. But yeah, overall, I think that'll do. Now I don't even want to look back there. But we'll keep rolling. Cheers. So that's not the ideal situation, having to do the garage while everything is still in it, but with my schedule and the way things are going lately, it's just the only way I can make it work. So I'm pretty happy trying to get things back in order and feel kind of good about where things are at. Having everything so messed up and 
kind of dingy and all my tools out of order it just it weighs on a person in life a little bit so it's good to try and take control of things and get things back and back in some semblance of order and I'm trying to do that in kind of all portions of my life right now still trying to do all the YouTube stuff and do the electronics but it's summertime so it's time to be outside but also just trying to I don't know make some life improvements and work on me and my things and uh, my marriage as well and actually funny thing I got to check this out I got this idea from Wrangler Star, a channel on YouTube that I, I, I've enjoyed for a long time. He actually prompted me to buy this book, Don'ts for Husbands. It's actually published in 1913. By a, it's written by a woman. And uh, there's some pretty interesting stuff in here. Maybe read a, read a passage real quick. It's a... Uh, good things to live by some uh, there's a lot of out of date stuff and some pretty crass stuff in here like way <laughs> 1913 was a long time ago but some of the stuff yeah some of the stuff carries carries through pretty good so don't take it out on your poor wife every time that you have a headache or a cold it isn't her fault she has enough to do in nursing you without having to put up with ill humor into the bargain solid advice still to this day I just uh, I was actually just down for the count with sickness just a few weeks ago and I can tell you I didn't do a very good job I definitely did take it out on my wife and I need to work on that a little bit I was uh, I could have been a lot happier person so yeah, if you guys like I might introduce this in the ends of videos now and again just tasty tidbits good things to live by cheers guys good luck in all your projects see you next video